Hello everyone, so today I'm going to talk about my MAC Powder Kiss lipstick collection. So they've been around already for more than two years now I think, but this is the only time I got them because yeah, I normally wait when they're, they're on sale and I think previous sale time I just got something else instead of them but now I finally have the, the shades that I like and would really want to have in my collection so I think I started buying two shades and then after a year um, now I have three more so some are like newer releases like new shades but some are like the original like first release from them so now let's start from the lightest to the darkest that I got so yeah here are my swatches so the first shade is the mullet over so this is like a dirty peach shade so this was one of the first shade that I bought because these are this is I think the for me one of the best shade that I know I would like and would love to use so this is really a pretty um, summer spring shade because it's more like a bright peach kind of shade and yeah I think during like spring summer I most of the looks I go for is this kind of shade that's why I really love it and I also like the, like it mixing with other shades like base for like gradient looks so yeah I love this shade and I've been wearing this a lot also when I got it this is the mullet over so the first shade is sultry move so it's really a pretty like pink brown kind of shade so this is the perfect shade that normally I look for in a lipstick so I didn't expect that I would like this this much but basing on the pictures I saw online I re I knew I would really like it so this is one of the shades that I really wanted from this collection I'm really glad I have it because it's really a pretty kind of shade like this is perfect for everyday shade I know someone asked me about this if I think it, if I compare it to mullet over but mullet over is peachy side and this more like pink brown kind of shade which if you look for that this really like the like soft pink brown kind of shade which yeah it's really pretty I really love these shades so I think this is one of the um, newer shades that they released I think this um, maybe last year they added new shades this is the um, sultry move so the next shade is the curious so this is a muted pinky red so I was doubting to get it because I'm not sure if I would like it but basing on how it looks on my lips I'm happy I got it because I don't think I have this kind of shades like um really a special kind of pink usually um, pink I really don't like but this because there's a bit of red to it I like how it looks on me so yeah and it really glides so smoothly it was also opaque enough for me and yeah yeah I think two swipes sometimes even one it would be enough already but yeah this is really a pretty shade as well mm, it can be maybe MLBB to some but to me it's just like um light yeah it's just like a nice shade that i think also complements my skin tone so yeah this is stay curious the next shade is the devoted to chili so this is like a i think the lighter version of the original chili from mac it's a warm brick red which i agree so if i compare it with the chili it's like much lighter and i can use this better than the chili because chili is too like in your face kind of shade but I will um, show you how it compared with the original chili and the podicus are devoted to chili so if I swatch it now so this is the original and this is devoted to chili so as you can see this is much more big compared uh, with the, uh, the powder kiss so yeah if you don't like the intensity of this I think the powder case will be great this is the comparison so this is the original chili I think this is the matte version yes and this is the devoted to chili so at first I didn't I really didn't like this because it's too much for me but now I'm looking at it it's almost like the Marrakesh so I think I can wear this I thought I would not even want to wear this but it looks pretty but even the application I can really say that uh, the powder is really light and this is much more like a bit um, heavy kind of formula so yeah if you want like a bit not so intense as, the, as this then this would be a good option so the last shade is the most unique one from among all my collections so this is the the burning love so 
this is like a deep and red wine kind of shade i mainly got this because i don't have it and it looks so like it's so unique and i might like it but hmm, looking at it now i don't think there will be like a makeup look that i want to use this i'm not quite sure yet but this is really like out of my comfort zone kind of shade so yeah i will try if there will be a look that i might want to use this but if i will never reach for it i don't think i will keep this in my collection but yeah this is really a unique like burgundy kind of shade because uh, i feel like this look uh, this shade would yeah i f yeah i don't think i would really like it let's see if there's an occasion that i need something like this maybe i will use it but for now i am not really liking this shade yeah not something i would want to use so in pictures it really looks so, so pretty but on me i don't really like it i think this looks best with like very light skin tone or maybe like dark skin tone as well but like in the middle i don't think hmm, i need to try it more if i would really not like it then i would probably not keep it so yeah this is burning love so now i will show you my favorite combination with this lipstick so it's like a gradient lip effect so i use the mullet over as a base so all over my lips and then i will apply the devoted to chili mainly focusing on the center part i i layered it as much as i can so you will see a bit that the center part is a bit darker and then it will like it fades to like a lighter shade so yeah normally this is the combination i like with this lipstick it just looks so pretty and like yeah i feel like this kind of lip effects really like you look a bit younger when you i think when you uh, wear it when you wear your lipsticks like this so yeah that is my favorite combination from the matte powder kiss lipstick so yeah those were my swatches from all the shades that i got so i hope it's helpful for you if you're still not decided which one you will get so yeah for the for their description a matte totally reinvented delivering a blur of soft focus color this weightless moisture matte lipstick was developed to replicate backstage technique blending out edges of matte lipstick for a hazy effect its groundbreaking formula contains moisture coated powder pigments that condition and hydrate lips this result is the zero shine look of a matte lipstick with a cushiony lightweight feel of a balm which i agree fall for this soft touch misty matte kiss of color so yeah the, i i noticed that it really gives that blurred effect that normally i like like in the edges so i need to like blend it with my finger but not with this i don't really need it so i really love that they made this like unique kind of formula yeah and i feel like this is really not so mattifying it's still hydrating and really light on the lips which i like compared to their matte lipstick it's more the matte is more heavier on the lips you you feel like you're wearing a lipstick but with this especially if you only apply a bit of this i think this would be like just a slight tint to your lips so i think people who i think a lot of people doesn't like heavy looking lips they they would love this more and yeah they because they're a bit light formula there they will transfer and yeah you just need to apply it but yeah most of the lipsticks are that anyway so i don't have a problem so yeah the formula i love it they're long lasting like all their mac lipsticks and they don't fade or anything like that but this is really like like yeah i oh i can see that it's also like a bit cushiony and like a balm which now this is probably my favorite formula from mac because it's matte but really light and also hydrating hydrating and yeah just i like the blurred kind of effect that's why i really love this formula yeah if you have any questions or doubts you can uh, just let me know and i will get back to you as soon as i can but for more information i will put them in my description box for in in my blog post so i will link it in my description box if you want to know more to see more pictures and yeah i hope this video helped you to decide which one which shade you want i cannot get all the shades because it's really expensive as well so normally i wait when they're like 25 percent or more off with like the online shops here but if they would release like new shades that i that would really catch my attention i might um add and update you with with my powder kiss collection so yeah if you find this video helpful please give this a thumbs up it will help my channel a lot and if you could consider subscribing to my channel it will mean so much to me 
So yeah, thank you for watching and hope I see you in my next one. Bye.